Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity. Who hears the broadcast? Before coming to this activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. And also, if you like to get CCNA version 7 or any other technical classes online, or if you like to contact our team, you can visit our website. Link you will get from the description below. Now, back to our packet tracer activity. Here we can see the objectives. Uh, in part 1, observe broadcast traffic in a VLAN implementation. Then in part 2, complete a review questions. Scenario. In this activity, a 24 port Catalyst 2960 switch is fully populated. All ports are in use. Uh, you will observe broadcast traffic in a VLAN implementation and answer some reflection questions. Coming to the instructions. Uh, step 1. Uh, use a ping to generate traffic. Click PC0 and then click the desktop tab. Then go to command prompt. There enter the ping 192.168.1.8 command. The ping should succeed. Unlike a LAN, a VLAN is a broadcast domain created by switches. Using packet tracer simulation mode, ping the end devices within their own VLAN. Based on your observation, answer the questions uh, in step 2. Now coming to our topology, here we can see different VLANs. Uh, VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and here we can see uh, VLAN 30. So as per our instruction, now we will go to PC0. Then desktop command prompt here we will ping to the pc here is the address and here we get the replies okay right now we will ping these pcs uh, from the same vlans here we are not going to use this uh, ping command in packet tracer we have an option called add symbol pdu so that we can do it little faster so here we will click on it then coming to pc16 we will send to pc17 and here we can see it successful or we can try to any one pc to another successful succeeded we can try from one vlan to another vlan we will try from VLAN 20 to VLAN 10 and we can see it's failed because inter VLAN is possible only with the help of uh, layer 3 devices either a layer 3 switch or a router. We will see that configurations soon. Now we will go to step 2. Generate and examine broadcast traffic in a VLAN implementation. Now uh, switch to simulation mode. Then click edit filters in the simulation panel and check the show all uh, bar none checkbox. Check the ICMP checkbox only. We will do that. Here we can see real time and simulation. Now we are in real time. We will move to simulation. And here we can see event list filters visible events and none. Suppose uh, if shows a uh, main number of uh, uh, visible events, then we can click on this uh, show all or none. So it will be removed. Now we can go to edit filters and we will add this ICMP here. Then close it. Now here we can see uh, event list filters visible events only ICMP. Now click the add complex PDU tool. This is the open envelope icon on the right toolbar. Yes, here we can see that add a uh, complex PDU. Now uh, float the mouse cursor over the topology and the pointer changes to an envelope uh, with a plus sign. Click PC0 to serve as the source for this test message and the create complex PDU dialog window opens. Then enter the following values. Destination IP address we have to give a broadcast address. Then we have to give a sequence number as 1. Then one shot time 0. So within the PDU settings, the default for select application is ping. Okay, we will do that. We will click on this uh, add complex uh, PDU. 
then uh, we will go to PC0 we will click on it and here we can see create complex PDU uh, here a destination IP address as specified we will give the broadcast address okay then a sequence number it's one okay uh, one short time here we can see that it's uh, zero seconds then we have to uh, check this uh, select application in this uh, PDU settings it's a uh, pink okay what are at least three other applications available for use here we can see uh, many applications like DNS, uh, then finger, FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, then IMAP, ping, pop3, SFTP, many there. Now uh, click create PDU. This test broadcast packet now appears in the simulation panel event list. It also appears in the PDU list window. It is the first PDU for a scenario zero then click capture bar forward twice okay now here we are going to click on this create pdu now we will click capture bar forward twice here we can see that to capture bar forward you will click two times and once more what happened to the packet so here we can see uh, th that packet uh, went to this uh, switch then that packet broadcasted to all these PCs uh, which are in VLAN 30 we can say that message is broadcasted to all the uh, entity devices uh, which is in the same VLAN now uh, repeat this process for PC 8 and PC 16 now we will go to real time and again we will go back to simulation and here we can see uh, we selected uh, visible events only ICMP also we can delete these uh, messages right now we will select this add complex PDU then coming to PC8 here we will give destination IP address the broadcast address then we will give a sequence number one and one slot time zero then the select application is a pink okay now we will create PDU then we will click capture bar forward that packet goes to this switch and here we can see it's broadcast to all the PCs in this VLAN 10 now we will uh, try it on VLAN 20 on this PC 16 so we will uh, clear it we will go to real time again back to simulation we can clear it delete this ok right now we will go to add a complex PDU then we will click on PC 16 destination IP address as broadcast address okay then uh, sequence number one and one short time zero selected application is ping okay now we will create this PDU and uh, we will click on uh, capture bar forward twice first click we can see it goes to this uh, switch second click we can see it sent to all the PCs which is in VLAN 20 now we have some reflection questions here if a PC in VLAN 10 sends a broadcast message which devices receive it obviously it will go to all the devices in that VLAN 10 then if a PC in VLAN 20 sends a broadcast message which device receive it yes already we have seen seen that when we sent from PC 8 it went to all these PCs in VLAN uh, uh, 20 then if a PC in VLAN 30 sends a broadcast message which device receive it obviously all the PCs in VLAN 30 
Next is what happens to a frame sent from a PC in VLAN 10 to a PC in VLAN 30. Obviously it will drop because uh, it is sent from VLAN 10 and we sent to VLAN 30. They are not in the same VLAN. Next is which ports on the switch light up if a PC connected to port 11 sends a unicast message to a PC connected to port 13. Yeah, uh, we have answer here itself. Obviously, port 11 and port 13. Next is which ports on the switch light if a PC connected to port 2 sends a unicast message to a PC connected to port 23. We can see this uh, port 2 and port 23, they are in different VLAN. So, obviously, uh, that um, frame will be dropped. We can verify that. Uh, we will confirm this port 2 and port 23 are in different VLAN. Uh, we can go to real time, then we will go to this switch CLI. Enable here, we can use the command show VLAN brief and we can verify that. Here we can see the port 2, which is in a VLAN 30. Then the port 23, it's in VLAN 10. Hence, that frame will be dropped. Next is in terms of ports, what are the collision domains on the switch? Yes, in switch, each port is its own collision domain. That means just consider uh, this uh, switch got 26 ports. That means all these uh, 26 ports uh, got its own collision domain. Final question. In terms of ports, what are the broadcast domain on the switch? Okay, obviously here we can see three VLANs. And each VLAN is its own broadcast domain. In this topology, we have VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. That means three VLANs. So here we have uh, three a broadcast domain. Okay, so friends, in this video, we discussed packet tracer activity. Who hears the broadcast? This is a simple packet tracer activity prior to VLAN configuration. Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions regarding this video or any topic, please comment below or you can contact us using our website. If you like our videos, give a thumb and don't forget to share this channel with all your friends. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.